American Pickers star Frank Fritz died on Monday, September 30, and a close friend believes he passed because he lost his will to live two years after suffering a debilitating stroke. Frank died at 60 years old in an Iowa hospice with loved ones, including longtime friend and co-star Mike Wolf, by his side. In an exclusive interview with the U.S. Sun, Frank's close friend Jerry Gendro revealed the star's difficult recovery after he suffered a stroke in July 2022. Jerry, who owns Bar Hog Dogs in Savannah, Illinois, where the late star's antique store Frank Fritz finds is located inside, told the U.S. Sun, he felt really, really bad. You would go to see him in the nursing home and one half of his body was completely done. He would lift his arm up and it would just drop. That's got to be tough to be totally bedridden. Jerry explained how Frank grew frustrated because he couldn't come out and say what he wanted to say, though some days were much, much better than others. I've seen this when people get tired, they get tired. I think if you don't have the will to live, you won't, Jerry said. I think Frank could have lived a lot longer if the will to live would have been there. Jerry said he will always remember his friend's spontaneity, the quality that made him a fan favorite on American Pickers. He was truly the comedian who popped out with some of the weirdest and dumbest things that you just go, wow, Jerry said. Frank was pretty much a what you see is what you get guy. His faults were his faults. You can't fault anybody for being what they are. He was a right is right and wrong is wrong kind of person. He made a mark on history. Final Moments a source previously told the U.S. Sun how Frank struggled in the months leading up to his passing. He has been bad since the stroke and he had been getting worse. He was unable to move the right side of his body. He needed 24-hour care. There was no way he was getting better. Health Crisis The passing comes two years after Frank suffered a stroke in his Iowa home in July 2022. Frank was unable to recover from the stroke fully, as he was rushed to the hospital four times in 2022 and 2023 for pneumonia and a seizure. He was left wheelchair-bound and returned to a rehabilitation center after the hospital stints. He can walk, but he's always going to need the wheelchair because he can't walk long distances, a source previously told the U.S. Sun in August 2023. Basically, you lose motion, he lost motion. A stroke can affect your left or your right side, it affected his right side. Suwon and CRVATOR Shite. Frank's close friends filed for a conservatorship and guardianship for him in August 2022. Midwest Stone Bank acted as Frank's conservator, while his close friend Pris Davis was his guardian. Because of his stroke, Mr. Fritz's decision making capacity is so impaired that he is unable to care for his own safety or to provide for necessities such as food, shelter, clothing, or medical care without which physical injury or illness may occur. Documents obtained by the U.S. Sun read Mr. Fritz's decision making capacity is so impaired that he is unable to make, communicate, or carry out important decisions concerning his own financial affairs. Decisions must be made for Mr. Fritz's care and placement while he continues to recover and receive treatment for his injuries. The appointment of a guardian and conservator was deemed necessary to avoid immediate harm to him. In July 2024, conservator Midweststone demanded Frank's finances be transferred to them because he needed skilled and long-term nursing care at the time. Tragic Loss Mike 60 announced Frank's passing the morning after his death as he wrote on Instagram, it's with a broken heart that I share with all of you that Frank passed away last night. I've known Frank for more than half my life, and what you've seen on TV has always been what I have seen, a dreamer who was just as sensitive as he was funny. The same off-camera as he was on, Frank had a way of reaching the hearts of so many by just being himself. Who would have ever dreamed we would share the cockpit of a white cargo van in front of millions of people interested in our adventures? Before the show we would take off together to places we never knew existed with no destination in mind and just the shared passion to discover something interesting and historic. The U.S. Sun obtained exclusive photos of Mike, 60, outside of his Iowa vacation rental in his hometown of LeClaire, Iowa on Wednesday, October 2. Mike appeared somber in the photos as he focused on making renovations to the home. The U.S. Sun also obtained photos of Mike's brother Robbie, who replaced Frank on the History Channel show. He also appeared down as he was seen chatting with customers at his shop United Motors in Davenport, Iowa.